Howdy folks, I got a classic Italian Amaro here that I'm finally getting around to. It's Maletti. Uh, we're gonna taste it. I got a drink to try later. Let's go. So Maletti is a very popular Amaro that uh, I only recently bought a bottle of because I had to make some cocktails for an event. A little more on that later. Maletti comes from a little place called uh, Ascoli Piceno. Um, I've never heard of this place, but it is a little town that is uh, sort of on the east coast of Italy. If Italy's a boot, it's up a sort of halfway up the calf, I guess, uh, between the mountains and the Adriatic Sea. It's a family business that's been going since uh, 1870 or so, according to the bottle. Maletti also makes a number of other liqueurs, including a, a red bitter that I've tried that's very fun. They make uh, an anisette and um, a number of other things. Uh, looking on the website, they looks like they make a bunch of different punches as well, which I would be interested to try, um, but those are not available here. Perhaps I'll taste them one day. Maletti is 32% alcohol, and this bottle cost me right about $30. Let's give it a taste. All right, Maletti, let's give it a, let's give it a whirl. Now, on the bottle, it says it's got caramel and uh, saffron in it, so... Um, we're gonna see if we can taste a little saffron. Yeah, it's got a very, very floral kind of aroma. I don't know if that's the saffron or what, but I have, it, the ingredients are a secret, but I have read that there's definitely uh, some cola nut um, and some, uh, I think lavender or something else, some sort of other flower in it. I wouldn't be surprised if there was like rose hips or rose flower petals in there. Cause that's the vibe I really get, a really flowery, perfumey nose. My impression of it, my idea of it, is that it's a little bit sweeter than some, but it actually does have a little bit of a, a little bit of a bitter bite to it. The 32% alcohol, I think also is making it a little punchier. It's definitely got a lot of f flowery notes, rose, maybe, maybe lavender or, or, or some other flower. I definitely get a lot of caramel and a lot of sort of cola notes. Although it isn't like as cola-y as like Ramazzotti, um, and, but it is definitely on the sweeter side, but definitely not as sweet as say uh, Montenegro or Nonino. In fact, this floweriness is actually reminding me a lot of Montenegro. I've got some Montenegro here. I think I might just have a quick sip of Montenegro just so, just so I can compare. I've got a video about Montenegro too if you want to go check that out as well. Hmm, yeah. Montenegro is more sweet, um, a little more herbal, a little less cola, but um, it, I, I think in a pinch, if you were needing to substitute one for the other, you could probably swap Montenegro for Maletti, and, you know, and probably get away with it. But yeah, Maletti is a little less sweet, a little darker you know, with those cola caramel notes as well, uh, and a little lighter on the floral notes. Anyway, I do love Amaro and Maletti is delicious for sure. If you like Amaro in general, there's you'll definitely like Maletti. Let's make a drink. A great drink to make with Maletti is called the Sharpie Mustache. The Sharpie Mustache comes from Souther Teague. You can read about it in his book. It is equal parts gin, rye, Maletti Amaro, and Bonal. Now, I don't happen to have a Bonal, so I couldn't make it and I've got too many bottles open at the moment, so I've decided not to buy Bonal. I'm telling you about this drink because it's delicious, but you can, you, if you have Bonal around, go make that drink because it's really good. I'm gonna make a different drink. I found that on Cocktail Virgin. Cocktail Virgin is a great place to find cocktails to make. Um, I will put a link down below. The drink I'm gonna make is called the Narita, which originally comes from employees only in New York. The version on Cocktail Virgin is one called the Narina Jones, which adds a dash of orange bitters to this original drink. I'm gonna leave the orange bitters out and just do the original Narina cocktail. The drink is a Negroni riff. It is gin, maletti, and puntemes. Now, I finished off my bottle of puntemes, so I'm going to use Dopo Teatro. If you're wondering about that, I have a video about that from the Manhattan series. You can go check that out if you want to. But it's a sweet vermouth in a similar vein, an extra bitter 
a sweet vermouth. This is a style of Negroni riff where you leave out the Campari, but you bitter up the vermouth in order to sort of get back to that bitterness that the Campari has. Should be delicious. Let's check it out. Give this thing a test, the Norina, or Norina Jones, if you're putting in the orange bitters now. Uh, let's give it a taste. It's an interesting twist on a Negroni. Not nearly as bitter as a Negroni, not as, not as bracing. And it doesn't have those uh, citrusy notes that you get from Campari, but it's got more of a cola caramelness from the Maletti. Uh, you don't get so much of the the flowers, you know, the, the maybe rose petal or uh, lavender or something that's in there. Still very nice. The thing about an agroni is like the the vermouth kind of bridges the gap between the gin and the Campari, and that that's going on here as well. It's like a, a good balance between gin, vermouth, and maletti. But though the the character of the maletti doesn't come through as much as as Campari does in a Negroni, but still very, very nice, sippable, boozy, stirred Negroni riff. I love it. I'm not sure if it's like the greatest showcase for Maletti, but it, it's a good drink and you should try it. I'll go back and say that the Sharpie Mustaches one, you should definitely try. Maletti also works really well in a sour, in fact, uh, that drink I was talking about earlier, I had this event this past weekend I had to provide some cocktails for, so we pre-batched a bunch of drinks. Uh, one of them that I made was um, a gin, coke americano, maletti, and lemon, and a little simple syrup. I'll put the recipe down here. I'm not making it for you now because we, we pre-batched it and there was a bunch left over because no one ever drinks as much as you think they're going to. Um, so I ended up milk washing all of that. Uh, so now I have like three bottles of milk washed cocktail I have to try and pawn off on my friends uh, at some point. Uh, but it came out pretty good. When I milk wash uh, a drink, I like to serve it with a, it's like a little splash of soda water in there. I think that comes out pretty good. Yeah, tart, delicious. Mm. That little splash mm -hmm. of soda water, very refreshing. Mm. All right, I think that's it uh, in conclusion, Maletti. It's delicious. It's uh, sort of on the sweeter end of things, not super duper bitter, um, but a bit floral. Um, you might use it in place of Montenegro if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, definitely worth looking into if that sort of sweeter style is your thing. Um, all right, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.